rack diagrams. We're going to go ahead and build a rack. We're going to start with the cabinet, obviously, servers and routers, switches and patch bays, power strips, a power supply, and UPS power supply. We can't uh, go on without one of those, pretty much. An LCD and a keyboard tray, and lastly, our RAID array. We're going to start with a cabinet. Bring it over to our page, and you say, boy, that's an awful short cabinet, Bill. We can drag it and pull it this way, but rather than try and guess at the size, we're going to go here, and we're going to make it 42 units tall. And you see all of these little X's, these connection points? They represent the mounting holes, and we'll be able to snap and glue our devices to them. Let's start with a server. Let's go ahead and let's put that there. Again, very small. I'm going to go here and actually, let's pull this out, make it a little bit smaller so that I can pin it open because I'm going to use a lot. I'll make this server eight units. Give it a little air at the top. Next thing I'm going to do is pull in our router. We have two routers. I'll take this one. Let's make the router a little bit bigger. Let's make it four units. I don't know about you, but I like to give a little space for air. Next, we'll go ahead. We'll grab the switch. And, of course, we can't forget the patch panel. Now, very important thing. Where is it? Our LCD monitor. And, of course, don't forget our keyboard tray. Actually, we can probably put the keyboard tray right under the monitor. That LCD monitor tray probably has to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Don't forget our power strip. We're not going to get too far without that, are we? And our power supply, our UPS. Let's make that. And lastly, let's not forget... our RAID array. Now our cabinet's looking good. Except, how many times have you walked into a strange server room or your own room that you might have inherited uh, from somebody else and nothing's labeled? You have no idea what anything is and the standard answer is always what? It's not labeled for security reasons. Well, you should always have, on paper anyway, some kind of a diagram like this that tells us what everything is. So we're going to go and get out another stencil annotations. And I'm going to go ahead and start to create some callouts and start to label these things. And you see, I can grab it and position that wherever I want. And I'm just simply going to go ahead and create one for all of them. Now, I'm being very generic. I'm not putting any detailed information in here about these. But stay there, and I'm going to make the rest of these, mark these, and um, we'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I put all my callouts, size those boxes. Got everything pretty much lined up so that uh, it's pointing to what it is. And there we go. We now have all the network diagrams we need. Well, maybe not all the ones we need, but all the ones we want to go ahead and create. We showed you how to do the cabinet. We used servers and routers, switches and patch bays. We added power strips, power supply. LCD and a keyboard tray, 
and added our RAID array to create our rack diagram. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.